Hello, people of God. I want you to please listen carefully to this as the Lord placed in my spirit to put this warning out. Now, the enemy is crafty and he is operating right now with a spirit of division and chaos among the people of God, among each other. When you do not get what you want, many are angry because they did not get what they want and it's feeling rejected and a spirit of rebellion because anger is there. People, listen to me. We do not always get what we want and it's time to realize that our friends and family and loved one is more important than people, politicians, and the people you would never meet in your life many of the times. The enemy is working over time to destroy the structure, to bring destruction. Be very careful. There are people making enemies with people that they love. Whether you vote for Trump or Kamala, it doesn't make a difference to me. I love you the same because you made your own decision and I made my decision. The love should not be lost. If you truly love somebody, it does not change. Always remember that. Now it's time to put their politicians' feet to the fire to do what they promised, which is what you should be focused on, not fighting with each other and dividing with the men and black men and the black women. And uh, there's a whole chaos Satan has created to divert the attention to what is needed. Now we do not use it to sit at the TV to listen everything and criticize. You make your voice heard. Look at the ladies in prison for praying in front of abortion clinic. That's important. Pray that the Lord release her because she did not do anything wrong. There are things that are happening that is so important that we are so caught up in what has been what we should concern what we can help and make a change now now there has been a great stillness and I want you to know the enemy is not satisfied he is not happy and he's plotting and planning I urge everyone who consider yourself a true child of God because you carry his fruit to not only look at it and say you feel something but I want you to start to pray for each other, the children and the leadership. Satan is ready to cause anything because he is angry um, because his will has been overturned in many ways because there are things that he wanted to push that is not of God. It is deeper than the people you see. It is spiritual warfare happening and we are focused on the wrong thing. Each other is not the enemy. There's a devil behind everything that's happening. There is a God behind many things that we see happening. See God to open your eyes spiritually to understand that there are deeper things things happening and the enemy is busy planning how can I destroy and get them he always has a plan B he always have a way to walk around to have his way and people do not yield yourself to darkness don't be filled with hatred because if you love God you cannot be filled with hate because if you should perish today or tomorrow in that hatred you cannot go to heaven and see the face of God because of hatred. So be careful with your emotion. Guard it well and God will see us through because he wished for none of us to perish. God bless everyone. You're loved no matter the side you're on. Jesus still loved you and God bless you all. Bye-bye.